What town are we in? Does anybody know? It just looks like nothing forever. Oh, it's crazy. Very sick. Can we just drive to LA tonight? I'll drive. I'll, I'll drive the bitch myself. Bro, I'm ready. I've been ready. Once we get back home, I, I'm done with fast food. I can't. I'm dying. Smile, y'all. No, I'm supposed to take it. I'm supposed to smoke. I'm enjoying my cigarette now. Say cheese. Say cheese. I need to sleep in my bed so badly. Long time no see, nephew. I know it took me a minute, but I always keep my word. And I gotta tell you, I went through a whole bunch of bullshit to get this shit for you. How's that? Good. That was great. Let's go again. So, on Amir's face. Or, hold on. Back up. Like right here. Nah, okay, sorry. Let's go back to where we were. Or at least right there. The original Helmet Boy series was going to be this crazy sci-fi comedy type of pilot that I was writing. But then I realized since I was going to be able to do it on tour, I should be a little bit more free with the forms and kind of just uh, shoot what I feel when I see it. I have no idea what my character is. He's just a little, a little kid that falls around a large black man selling bootleg DVDs. I don't know. Just fill in the rest for yourself, I guess. So, on our YouTube channel, episode two of Helmet Boy, uh, Amir plays this character named Cliff. Apparently, it's like Helmet Boy's cousin. And Helmet Boy gives uh, Cliff DVDs to sell. I really appreciate you doing this for me. This ain't gonna go on soon. I'm gonna make it back up to you. So, Cliff is gonna bring back the DVDs and the money in this random place. Nice. I don't know. We'll try it out. Okay. Ready? Let's do this. What's your nephew look like? Short black kid, wears a motorcycle helmet. Like, all the time? Yeah, all the time. What's in the bag, Cliff? Cliff. It's a present for Helmet Boy. What kind of present? A heavy present. Now stop asking questions. I love Tarantino. And like, I was super in the PTA at 1.2. Boogie Nights is my favorite movie. He said one of the ways he learned how to make movies is by watching movies with commentary. So like, I would try to do that as much as possible. That's why I like doing these like little helmet boy things. It's good practice. So maybe one day I could actually make a full length feature film. John, you look so depressed. You okay? You look so depressed. Come here. Oh man. Come here, it's okay. Oh, thanks, bud. It's okay. You okay, bro? <laughs> you good? I think, I don't know. Damn. Yeah, I don't know why I'm so sad today. Denver, 67 out of 250. Yeah, it's just not moving up at all. Denver, a weird show last year. You have 67 fans in Denver? Brian, look at me. My goal is to get as many of these like little episodes done mm -hmm. that we can put together in one episode and show that at the Roxy. Like imagine the four we have on YouTube, that would be one episode. Right. We should just do that right now with all the little clips that we've been compiling. Like, Try to shoot as many as possible, edit every single one of them, and then see what happens. John, what's wrong with you, bro? 
I'm just ready to go to the hotel and chill, call it a night. I'm ready to go back to Boston. <laughs> No, not even. I just woke up in a weird mood. I feel you. You've been driving all day. I think I've been driving all month. It's all good. I'm not complaining. Your face is, though. All right. I'm not going to sit here and smile for no reason just so y'all don't have to look at my upset face. I'm sorry. See, and I'm on edge. Nigga, you on edge. What he said? No, nothing. Uh, well, I mean... <laughs> It's I, cool. No, it's cool. Everybody's got to get home. We got to get home. Yeah, I feel you. It's just been one of those days, I guess. Where are you going? I'm going into the bathroom. Yeah, let me Don't follow me. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. Don't I've been in broad cancer for two years, and this is all the money I made. <laughs> Chill, bro. Whoa. Whoa. Stop, bro. Chill. Oh. So this is what Colorado looked like. Where are the weed stores at? I'm about to take this nap, Denver. I'm about to take this nap, dude. Denver, y'all mind if I take a nap real quick? <laughs> you should play Coldplay when you're opening up. Denver, yeah, here's a playlist. Nap. I'm gonna go take a nap. We've been on the road for like, well, almost a month now, three weeks, something like that. It was a big learning experience. Not just as like a, like a performer and a musician, but like, just as like a person. There's like stress and then there's like healthy stress. This healthy stress will like push you to get things done and do what you need to do. But like, sometimes you get kind of like in these creative ruts and it's like... Come on, give us a smile. Prince of Darkness over here can't smile. I can't break character over here with the all black and the dumb ass mustache. My mustache dumb, your outfit dumb, nigga. <laughs> My outfit dumb, your friends designed it. What's wrong with you? You know I put that teeth in your mouth for a reason, boy, not shine. <laughs> <laughs> you wish Beza a happy birthday? Yeah, call her when I got service. I said you said happy birthday, Jabari. Why Jabari always asking about your My sister? sister? <laughs> I know. Why are you always asking about his sister, bro? So, I like his sister. I'm watching both of y'all. Y'all need to stop. Can we stop talking about HK's sister? It's making me uncomfortable. It's not even my sister. Y'all niggas making it weird. I just, I wish I had ready. That's all it does. That's really all it does. Yeah, with that weird ass smile on your face. Yeah, you do it in a weird way, bro. It's <laughs> weird. Have you met her before? No, that's the thing. I want to meet her. Niggas <laughs> 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 making this weird. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. You have good intentions. I have good intentions. That's okay. That's the For real. At the moment, I feel really, really sick, and I want to go home. My body feels weak, but I'm excited to play these last two shows. We're good. So yeah. I think we're good. We're Check, check. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jabari. Why would you say that? Those fans are not excited at all. That doesn't mean it's not going to be. Okay, to be honest, uh, the fans do. They make, make the show, yeah. They do make a... They weren't even happy like, to see They could you. just That's be crazy. like a little like not warmed up and then when Romil, when Romil kills it... Even if it's it, gonna suck, at least it's our second to last show. I'm literally just sick and it sucks because it's up everything I have to do. The show's gonna suck all because of my allergies. I've been on the road for about a month and I am somewhat sad that it's ending. Um, I'm still extremely nervous, like, before any performance or before talking to people. But I'm excited to meet kids every night and see, I don't know, how I could help them get through a day or get through some of the bullshit they're dealing with in life. It's much more important and way bigger than, like, my insecurities. Like, just the way I looked, how I talk. I, I still don't like my voice that much, which is weird because, like, my music has gotten me pretty far.
Thank you. I love you too. If a stranger says they love me, I understand exactly what that means because I have felt that way about like my idols. So it's easy for me to say I love you back because without them, I wouldn't be here. I would have songs and I would have like music that I was proud of, but I wouldn't have an audience or a platform. I don't think I'm famous at all. I think that I just like knew how to figure out the internet. That's it, really. I want to be a pop star, but not because of status. For me, it just creates legacy. So if I affect someone or impact someone and they're inspired because of me, and then they go and tell other people that Kevin Abstract made them do something, that just helps my legacy. Are people in the crowd yet? There's like 60 people. It's a small crowd. Are people still in the line? Yeah, they're still letting people in. Oh, okay. Gonna be a great show, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie to yourself. Hey, buddy. Hey, Yo, so you miss us? Yeah. How much? Yeah? Do you think we should leave and drive straight home? Yeah, definitely. All right, I'm gonna do it just for you, Kiko. So we'll be there tomorrow night sometime. I'm not sure how long though. Spread the word at the house. Let the peoples know. Bye bye. Home sounds so good right now. Let's go to LA. I need to sleep in my bed so why, badly. Why is nigga trying to go home? Y'all need we for the pull up a camera. Huh? We'll be fine, bro. We'll be good. I hope the homies pull up. All right, they're not gonna shoot us on camera. They're not gonna shoot us in the daytime. They might shoot us in the day and on cameras. That's not gonna stop us. And then they're gonna sign off the release forms. That's gonna be our final episode. We just need to talk to the niggas on 37th Street and get some protection. No, no, what? we don't need to get. No, that, no, it's not. That is no, not that's real. Like, that's a war. That's I was a just playing, Bari. I was just playing, Bari. No, that's not real. You don't go get another. That's real. Let's get protection. Let's get protection. We need to move out before the show airs in case they see this. I've already, I've said this multiple times. Yes. We can't have all these cameras and white folks in front of the house and think we're not gonna get f***ed up about it. Cause I ain't trying to move to Crenshaw, bro. What he said? Are we moving to Crenshaw? Hell no, we ain't moving deeper into the hood, nigga. Are you stupid? We not moving deeper into the hood. Hell no. We need to move to a place where like everybody got a dog and a front lawn and like your neighbors water their grass in the morning. Like we need to move a place like that. I don't want to live nowhere where there's a liquor store walking distance. Why not? Because that's the hood. What you mean? Jabari, not from America. Yeah, Go easy There's on not him. a prince's liquor in Santa Monica. There just isn't. Hey, but okay. it was on Fairfax at the White House. There's a uh, exactly. the 76 huh? gas station right there. Yeah. But that's not the same, I'm nigga. They that's don't sell Lucy that's cigarettes at the 76 gas station. Can you please station. not? Isn't there another name? That you guys called the it? White House. No, there was two names. The Wonder Bread House. The Wonder Bread House. Yeah. I like Wonder Bread more than the White House. But okay. why you? Why can't be the White House? Everybody it just makes me house. feel bad. But why make you feel bad? That's what you are, nigga. Be proud, nigga. Why do you feel bad, honestly? Because it feels like odds, oh, like. I don't know. Same reason I be making fun of you for quinoa. You feel like I'm calling you Make, a pussy because yeah. you're white. Get over it. Don't be so f sensitive. It's like, just more clowning. I don't know. It bothers me. Clowning. I'm gonna come clean. I would love to live in that neighborhood. Dead I would not mind living in the White House, nigga. I would not complain. Every time you guys call me the White House, I just picture oh you guys God. putting me in the same box with some f crackers. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Nobody ever said the word cracker. Oh my god! I'm just saying the White House because that's the name. <laughs> it's just the name. Like, I like the Wonder Bread House more because that's kind of funny. When I say the White House, I literally mean the house with all the white people in it. Like, that's that's all I mean. That's all I mean. Nothing more. It makes me feel like we're all eating mayo. Like, why do you feel that? I don't way? know. Because it's just like it's a it's a label. You're putting that on yourself. But when you guys call. That it, I feel some type of way. Oh, Bro, we're on in a minute, by the way. way. Oh, All this commotion, we forgot there's a show going on. All right, well, you know niggas ready for tour to be over. It's nine o'clock, you want me to go now? Oh. Yeah, let's do it. You ready, Ian? Y'all boys ready? Wait, 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 oh wait. my God, Roy, I'm sorry, bro. It's okay. I'm not gonna call it the White House no more. I'm gonna find a new name. Wonder Bread, just call it the Wonder Bread House. Cause no, that's that at least, have the right, at least it's funny. To it. It's funny I got to, to turn me. the mic on. Shh. What city are we in? Denver? <laughs> Denver. <laughs> so what city are we in? <laughs> Denver! Oh. 
pretty intimate. I like this. <laughs> if you know this next song, sing it with me as loud as you can, okay? Sweaty palms as I walk down the city road. I got a mom but we ain't smart. And I don't know. I got a heart that don't speak to me anymore. I like your heart with these. A little louder. I'm just trying to get my hands up. Why you running through the madness? I don't understand you. So you can find your way. That's over. That was terrible. Niggas were quiet as hell during the songs. I feel like they were just nervous or something. I'm surprised they asked for an encore. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, next show the Roxy, man. It's okay. Hopefully they like the set at least. Oh, you want to come do that uh, meet and greet? There's probably only um, five people. Really? <laughs> he said everyone left. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Okay, let's let's leave then. Please, let's go. Home. Cannot wait to go back to LA. Let's get out of here. Okay, yeah, let's go. Uh, unknown. Somewhere you talk. Time, 6.34 in the morning. Status, we're going the f home. Back before we were musicians, this is what we used to do. Talking about picking cotton. Yeah, but it's real. Does cotton grow on trees? They do. I be picking cotton. Juno could be a good one. Yeah, I'm down for Juno. I haven't seen that movie in forever. No friend of watch. No. <laughs> no. American Pie. We already saw that. Grand Budapest. Pretty in Pink. Any Hall. Any Hall. Let's watch Any Hall. I'm down for Any Hall. I've never seen it. No. Trash. Any Hall is a good one. All right. I'm gonna pull all these away before somebody changes their mind. Good morning. We talk about a lot of things on this show, good and bad, mostly good, like how to put on a condom. But today, we're gonna talk about something bad. Don't do drugs, kids, cause it melts your brain and you can't read that way. Remember that radio interview you wanted to do? It's right now? Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Pretty good. So I'm at a gas station right now, but I can talk. Um, what was the inspiration? Uh, the inspiration was reading Rainbow. Uh, you know that, that show from PBS? It's another night. I wish I wasn't cold. I just bought a bag and smoked it on my own. I just wanted to do something like that because um, I thought it would be, I don't know, I just thought it would be funny. 
And uh, I just wanted to show that I could act a little bit too. If you can't like bring the visuals together with the sound, then like you're missing a major part of like what people connect with. Uh, I just try to talk to people in a song and I try to have them know, I don't know, either a little bit more about me or a little bit more about themselves by the time the song is over. Uh, but mostly I just put a large part of myself and my experiences in the song and I hope people connect with it. It is a group of 15 people. I kind of grew up with these guys. I, I met them online and then we moved in together. And it's, it's honestly like, it's like living with family. Uh, I don't know, we all just kind of have our own story and, and they all kind of blend together in a beautiful way. And here we are. Great day to come back to Los Angeles. Oh my oh, god. Okay. Oh shit. We on the vlog. Oh, oh, oh. Damn bro, I never thought I'd be back here. Shut what? the f oh, up, nigga. <laughs> You need to humble yourself, nigga. This is you right here. You want us to drop you off at the Wonder Bread house? Wow! He called it the Wonder Bread house. I'm okay with that. Oh my God, I'm back home. I ain't got on red again, all right? <laughs> hey, hey, nigga, dumb. You did not learn your lesson. You did not learn your lesson. Look at this nigga. Look at this nigga. <laughs> Good to see you. Hey. Oh my God. Bro. Oh, man. Damn, we really back. Good drive, John. Thank you. I can't believe I'm back home. 